Hi there and welcome to another video in the Python snippet series. In this video we're going to take a look at the chain map class which is available in the collections module in Python. So I'm just going to read this off for you just to demonstrate what chain map actually is. It allows you to quickly link multiple mappings and when you see the word mapping you can think of a dictionary. So it allows you to quickly link together multiple mappings so that they can be treated as a single unit. This is often much faster than creating a new dictionary and then running multiple update calls. So a chain map, what it essentially is, it's, it's allowing you to create a view over multiple dictionaries and you can then treat that those dictionaries as a single entity, as if it was simply one dictionary. So what I've got is some dummy data. We've got a dictionary, three dictionaries here, D1, D2 and D3. First one contains uh, three keys and values, A, B and C. Second one has D and E, third one has F and G. And what I want to show you is how you would normally have to chain these together. You could create a new dictionary where you, you destructure the keys and values from each of these dictionaries here. That would work. If we print out chain, you'll see that we have a single dictionary that contains all of the keys from the three dictionaries that it's made up of and all of the values are correct as well and you can then index into that normally so if we wanted to value a we could get that if we wanted to value f we could get that and that's six so we can do that but there is a better way in python if you need to do this rather than creating that copy um, manually like that we can say from collections import the chain map class and the chain in this case is going to be we're going to instantiate a chain map object and we just simply pass it as many mappings, as many dictionaries as we need to chain together. In this case, we've got three dictionaries that we are chaining together here. And what that will give us back is a chain map object. And you can see that the representation of that chain map consists of three distinct dictionaries. And that is um, that is essentially what the chain map is. If I look at the, the keys within the chain, you'll see that Again, we have a key view and it consists of three separate dictionaries of keys and values. Um, and I can then, I, I can iterate over that the way you would iterate normally over a dictionary. So for key and value in chain, let's print the key. Uh, we'll use an F string for this. We'll print the key and the value. Uh, oh, and I've made a mistake here. It should be chain.items. That's the dictionary method in Python. Chain.items will return a tuple with the key and the value for each item. And you see we get back, in no particular order, um, the chained elements. So, yeah, a chain map is essentially a very easy way to chain together multiple dictionaries and treat them as a single unit, as it says up here. Um, treat them as a single unit. And just to demonstrate that you can extend this principle further, let's say we had another dictionary. Um, let's say it was a counter object. And again, counter is a, something that we import from collections. And I'm just going to pass counter a bunch of letters. We can create another chain object. Um, and I'm going to copy this one. And let's add D4 to that. So that will create a new chain object. And because counter is a mapping, it's a dictionary subclass. This, uh, this is a valid piece of code. We've got three normal dictionaries and a counter instance. They can all be chained together and you can do the same um, operation and treat it as a single unit. So that's the value of the chain map. It's not something you're going to use every day in Python. But just to show you, the underlying mappings are actually stored in a list and it can be accessed using the maps attribute. So basically that means we can call the maps property on this and we get back the four mappings that make up that chain map. And basically that's a list of the constituent dictionaries within the chain map object. There's also a parents um, property and that actually gives you all the, all the dictionaries in the chain map except the first one. This is, if we look at the Python documentation, parents is a property that returns a new chain map containing all of the maps except the first one. So that's useful if you need to skip the first map in the search. Not sure when that would be used, but it's handy to know about. So that's all for this video. Um, it's a very quick one. There's not much to say about chain map. It's very useful to know about. I don't think it's something you'll use every day in your Python journey. 
However, if you liked the video and learned anything, please give me a like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Thank you.